Hi YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little vlog video of what I eat because I'm not going to have any carbs today. If you have not been following me, I'm doing uh, carb cycling. I have been doing carb cycling for about uh, four to five weeks. I think five weeks. Um, and I've never cut my carbs out completely uh, and exchanged it uh, like a low day for a no carb day because that is a thing in carb cycling. Uh, you have the choice to do either or and I've never done a low carb day just because I like carbs and I really like the energy that it gives me. <laughs> Today, you know, I thought that I would take on a challenge because I'm starting to see that the carb cycling affect my body which, you know, usually on carb cycling it takes about uh, four to six weeks until you can actually see changes in your body and so I'm starting to see that so it's getting me excited. Also, I'm, I'm getting used to uh, my low carb days because at first I had to have uh, amounts and amounts of coffee to get me through my low carb days. And luckily my body and my mind has got used to only having 76 grams on my low carb days. <laughs> Today is my second low carb day in my cycle and that's why I figured that I would have no carb day because tomorrow is my high carb day so it's not anything where you know I'm like oh I have to do this for like super like long or anything like that I can have my no carb day and tomorrow I go back up to my 152 grams of carbs and feel good about my body I have a lot of energy but I wanted to vlog this for you so you can see what I eat and if I am able to do this challenge I don't know if I can I don't know if I'm going to start feeling really tired throughout the day uh, I did just eat breakfast trying to put them in the worst mood P1 cleaner than the church shoes Millie point two just to hurt them All red lamps to tease them None of these toys on these two I had three eggs and two pieces of bacon No, I did not have turkey bacon If you have never had turkey bacon You are not allowed to judge me And if you have had it and you like it for some reason Then your taste buds are just I don't know, but turkey bacon to me does not taste good at all, so I had two slices of real bacon. My plans for lunch is uh, chicken the other night, uh, not last night, the night before, I made chicken fajitas and I had tons of uh, chicken left over so I'm going to use that uh, meat for lunch and probably have some kind of vegetable with it. And for dinner, I know for sure I'm going to have spaghetti squash with hamburger meat and a little bit of tomato sauce. With this uh, carb cycling, f uh, fruit, yes of course, is a carb. I'm not having any fruit today, but vegetables also have carbs in them, or they are technically a carb. In carb cycling, vegetables are a free carb. So I'm not cutting out any, uh, any of that. I am going to try to stick to green vegetables because that's that's technically what your free carbs are but we're going to have just a tiny bit of um, tomato sauce with our spaghetti squash tonight I've never made spaghetti squash so I don't know how that's gonna go I have a recipe on how to make it and I, I know kinda what I want so hopefully that goes well for me but again, I just wanted to vlog this for you to see, you know, what I eat and if I am able to do it. Uh, it may spark, you know, something in you and you may want to do the own challenge uh, yourself. Today is my cardio only day, so later today I will be going into the gym and doing 30 to 35 minutes on the Stairmaster. Um, it will be doing hit on the Stairmaster. I don't make myself go like full blast for 30 minutes. I really believe in HIIT training because it, again it spikes your your uh, heart rate and gets your calories burning faster than you would just going full at it for a long period of time. Also if you don't really know anything about carb cycling um, you're probably think that, thinking that I'm really crazy to have no carbs. I'm a person that believes that you should never cut out carbs. Um, 
but when I say that I mean for a you know like a long period uh, diet time you should never cut out your carbs that long you know carbs are very beneficial and our body needs them uh, I don't I'm not talking about junk food carbs I mean the good complex carbs but I'm a person that you know from what I've read I just believe it and I would never put my body uh, through anything like that like cut them out completely but for this carb cycling if you if again if you don't know anything about carb cycling you have a few low carb days and then you have one high carb day first off you can do uh, carb cycling many different ways uh, you can have four low carb days you can have two low carb days you have three low carb days it's there's just endless amounts of possibilities that you can set up this plan uh, for however you want it mine's set up a little differently I'll list it right here so you can see uh, today is my second low carb day and that's why I chose to try to challenge myself and do a no carb day because I know tomorrow uh, is a high carb day and I get to have all the goodies the reason why I am choosing to have a no carb day is the whole point of carb cycling is that on your low carb days you're pulling your metabolism down so it's kind of like a yo-yo on your low carb days you're pulling down your metabolism on your high carb days you spike it back up which makes your metabolism and everything rev back up and burn more calories and after that high carb day then you go back down to a moderate low carb day which is mine's in between my high carb and low carb and then I take it back down to a low carb day so your metabolism is just going up and down up and down instead of if you were to just be on a diet just a regular low calorie diet for say a month uh, your metabolism would be like this like there wouldn't be any kind of spike or anything in it and that's the difference between carb cycling is within that month if you were doing carb cycling this is what it would look like you know it's it's just your metabolism is just peaking every week and revving up your metabolism so each time it revs up it's just burning that more calories yes it's pulling it down but every time it goes back up and every time you have a high carb day it just boosts everything and you burn calories that's why I did this because you are able to burn calories and lose weight quicker than if you would just you know regular do a low carb diet for a whole month now carb cycling is not for everyone not everyone enjoys uh, tracking macros and and all that and then there's some people that just prefer to do the low calorie uh, you know regular diet and that's fine you don't I mean you do whatever you want to do I had done the carb cycling before but I didn't exactly know how to do it and I didn't actually stick to it so my results were not very good this time I done a lot more research on it and was at a point where I felt like I knew a lot about it that I could do it and I could put myself through it stick to it and actually get the results and I am on my fourth or fifth week I think it's my fifth um, week of carb cycling and I have seen a huge change compared to what I was doing before just a regular low calorie diet and it's crazy my body has gotten used to the low carb days and you know I, I've set up my plan and I'm just I'm used when the low carb days come I know what I can eat and what I can't eat and on the high carb days I like to have desserts and uh, treat myself <laughs> another thing is carb cycling is something that it's a diet that you can continue on for as long as you want because it's not a like a actual low calorie diet because it's not good to stay in a low calorie diet for a very long time because your body does uh, start to basically shut down and go into starvation mode because it's not getting the calories it eventually starts to plateau if you stay in a low calorie diet for a long time so that is what is great about this carb cycling because I do like it and I was only going to do it for 12 weeks but I think I'm actually going to continue it because I can 
Um, it's something that, you know, it's a refeed. If you've ever heard of people saying there's a refeed day, that's basically what a high carb day is. But it's a diet that you can maintain for as, however long you want. Because it does pull down your metabolism on those low carb days and revs it back up on the high carb days. So it's something that you continue to do as long as you want. I've already seen the progress that I've gotten so far and I really like it and I still have three, four more weeks of my 12 week thing and I'm excited. So I've accepted this no carb challenge today and we are going to hopefully accomplish it and achieve it and feel so good tomorrow when it's high carb day and we're having pancakes and all the good carbs. So I will catch y'all at lunchtime or whenever my next meal is. Okay, it's lunchtime. A little update on how I feel. It's been about uh, three, two and a half, three hours since I've ate. And I've been kind of busy and been drinking a lot of water I've already drank in that amount of time. I have drank about 32, 30, 30, yeah, 32 ounces. Um, so I think that's been keeping me full. Like I said, I've been busy, so I haven't really been thinking about food. But it is lunchtime. I really don't like to go past uh, three hours of eating. I like to keep my body and metabolism uh, working so it can be continue to be sped up so I'm going to show you what I'm gonna have for lunch um, I've already uh, I've already fixed it and uh, the chicken is left over from the other day I said that I had made fajitas so this is what I'm going to be eating for lunch here we have um, four ounces of grilled chicken of course we got the green veggies over there um, there is about one cup of those. So when I eat those two, I figure I will be like still wanting more. So I got one of my cheese sticks out. This is uh, one of these is less than one carb. It is dairy. It does have carbs. Um, but we're going to keep this and wait till the last and see if I am still hungry and go from there. If not, this might be a snack for later on because I most definitely always have a snack between lunch and dinner, but today's different. That is when I'm going to go do my cardio and uh, run errands, so I will again be busy then, so I may not feel like I'm hungry or feel the urge to eat something, so we'll see. It's going good. I'm glad. I don't feel hungry. I don't feel tired or anything. I only had that one cup of coffee so far, and then I've had about 32 ounces of water, uh, lemon water, so we're doing good. Okay, it is 4.30 and I'm finally heading to the gym a lot later than what I expected. I still need to go to Walmart and get some groceries for dinner tonight, but we're gonna go to the gym and do um, some cardio, probably on the Stairmaster. We're still feeling full and I, I don't feel like I don't have like any energy or anything. I really don't feel any different than my low carb days, just like normal. Um, I'm excited about that because I was figuring that I would be, you know, not feeling good, probably like a headache or something like that, but I have been taking in, in taking a lot of water so that it keeps me full, it keeps my belly. Uh, full and I'm staying hydrated. Every in skinny pieces and she clean it with her face, but you love your baby. You talking money, need a hearing aid. You talking about you, you don't see the shade. Switch up your style, you take any lane. Switch up your cup to kill any pain. Look what you've done. You're a pretty little star boy. Look what you've done.